G'day internet, Max right here, and uh, quick Bitcoin and Ethereum price update. Um, really nice trend line forming here I, uh, on the Bitcoin chart. As you guys know, I love finding these uh, little downtrends in a generally up market, which I think we are. And we've got this nice trend line here. And uh, at some point that's gonna break and that's gonna be a really nice entry point. So I just wanted to bring your attention to that to, for you to keep your eyes on it. A uh, couple of announcements here. I've actually got some more charts to show you, which is going to be fun, but a couple of quick announcements here. Uh, for um, Success Council members, I'm going to be doing another Q&A. Uh, I think I'll release that video tomorrow. Uh, and also, I've been putting together for the last two weeks um, like a really well thought out, well planned, well prepared video series. I think there's going to be about six parts to it to it uh, on the long-term bullish case for Bitcoin uh, and cryptocurrency in general uh, and why it's just, I think it's very, very important that people get involved in, in cryptocurrency right now. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're checking your videos regularly. I will release that. I'll do that as a premiere so that we can uh, be in the chat rooms and I can actually chat to everybody while you, that's happening. So that's going to be super fun. So uh, yeah, what else do you want to talk about? I do want to, there's something that I do not like in the charts, which is the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is dropping, uh, dropped almost a full percent today. Um, we're on the hourly here, yeah. But uh, let's go back to the daily to look at this. But Ethereum took a big chunk out, uh, took, and look, there's, there's very good reason to be concerned about this um, in terms of the Bitcoin dominance dropping. It's, uh, it's not a good look. It's not helpful for altcoins either. So I went and did some, found some data for you all. Uh, in 2017, the Bitcoin dominance peaked in December 9th. Uh, December 20th, the Bitcoin price peaked. Uh, and then J uh, January 15th, Ethereum price peaked, right? That's how the bull market ended. Uh, and it's, it's not the only time that it happens like that um, throughout, the, throughout the year, but it, it's always, you have to let the market, I like speaking, I like speaking about Bitcoin and Ethereum like they're children. Um, you have to let that, that big boy um, Bitcoin run and then Ethereum can follow and it can come up over afterwards, that's okay. But you got to let Bitcoin uh, run and have its day. Um, it gets grumpy otherwise and it pulls the whole market down and I just see this over and over again. So earlier this year, we had uh, the Bitcoin dominance peaked uh, January 9th. And actually, that's worth looking at. Uh, let's go back to that. So this year, we're all pretty familiar with. The Bitcoin dominance peaked up here January 9th. But we know the Bitcoin price was only about $20,000 here. It ran up all the way to $60,000. But this was a very, very important moment here. When this trend line, when this broke down here, uh, and Bitcoin, the Bitcoin dominance started to fall. So this was April 1st, okay? April 1st. Um, so maybe that's more re relevant. Now the Bitcoin price peaked on the 13th of April. That's when it hit 65,000. A month later, the Ethereum price peaks uh, and then it's all, all hell breaks loose. I have down here the DeFi index and the NFT index just to see if there was any kind of important heads up and there wasn't really from those. So this was the big warning here about what was gonna happen here in, uh, in April, May with regards to the entire cryptocurrency market crashing all the way down uh, I think Ethereum lost 60% of its market cap. Bitcoin lost 50%. It was a big, big. And it was this sharp drop in Bitcoin dominance that was the canary in the coal mine that warned for everything. Now, we're nowhere near anything like this um, right now. But I, this, this here, here it is. You can see it on the, the daily here. This big fall over the last uh, 48 hours in Bitcoin dominance is not good for the entire cryptocurrency market. Um, even if you're an altcoiner out there, I've got altcoins, I've got nothing against altcoins. Even if you're a strong altcoiner, this does not set things up nicely at all um, because we really need Bitcoin to lead us into the all-time highs, into the $100,000, and then you'll see a massive altcoin season um, and just it'll rain money on altcoiners then. But altcoiners are getting a little bit ahead of themselves, just taking money out of the Bitcoin market. It's going across into altcoin world and it's just, uh, it's not healthy for us long term. I don't like it. And I really hope to see this reverse soon. Generally, I think we're going to be relatively quiet. We might go up a little bit, most likely uh, for in September. Um, but again, my forecast for Q4, and I, I think this is part of it, actually. This kind of shaking out and the Bitcoin dominance, it could be part of it. 
But uh, again, Q4, I am very, very, very excited for what's gonna happen throughout all of crypto, especially Bitcoin, especially Ethereum. It's gonna be really, really good. So that's kind of my that situation there um, with regards to the forecasts. And I did just wanna share some uh, super fun stuff with the, um, with the uh, Success Squad Discord channel that we have. Um, we've added some, added some gaming NFT rooms. We had some requests for that. Uh, and uh, privacy coins have been added. I think a few other things have been added. Lots and lots of people helping each other here in the tax areas. Um, it's crazy how many tax specialists we have in, uh, in there getting uh, lots of free advice. And I did want to offer a shout out to uh, a couple of people. So Chaotic Coder, um, you've, uh, you and Alex on Tech both being really generous with their time, really generous with their energy, and one other, uh, Greg. Greg, I've actually featured Greg before. So there's just three people who have just really stepped up. Everyone in the Success Squad is really, really helpful, really, really generous with their time. But those three in particular have been really, really generous, and I wanted to do a, give a shout out and thank you to those guys. If you need anything from me, please let me know. Um, so with that, yep, guys, take care. If you're a member, make sure that you uh, open your emails tomorrow. I will be giving you the opportunity to ask me questions directly. And then so I'll do a Q&A video with once all those questions have been collected and share that with everybody. All right, guys, thank you. Take care and I will see you soon.